Hi, everyone. It is April 2020, and I hope you're all staying inside and helping to reduce the spread. Living in an apartment during COVID, we discovered that we needed some extra clothing hooks in strategic locations, like by the front door to hang clothing and face masks when we come in from doing laundry or a grocery run. Creating clothing hooks from wood is a great do-it-yourself project for those offcuts and scraps left over from other projects. Since I work on my balcony with hand tools, COVID hit before I could buy any new wood for spring and summer projects. So I took an old piece of red oak that I'd been using for clamping and staining. It was pretty beat up. A little work with a smooth plane made this piece of wood look brand new. I cut a 9 inch length for the back since I plan to only mount two hooks. The hooks were made from some leftover half inch doweling and when done would measure two and a quarter inches in length. I could have just cut the doweling to length and rounded the ends, but I decided to do a little fancy work with a spoke shave and make a bowling pin type of design. I figured that would provide a better grip for clothing and the straps on the face masks. I measured one quarter inch from the end and one quarter inch from where the base would be and made marks. Then I cut about one eighth of an inch into the doweling all the way around and began tapering with the spoke shave from the one half inch mark to the cut. When that was all even, I cleaned it up with a file and sandpaper. Next, I cut the base of the hook at 45 degrees on the miter box with the back saw and cut the end. Then I rounded the top and base of the top with a file and sandpaper. Once both pegs were done, I used an auger and bit to drill two holes on about a 30 degree angle into the base, one and a half inches from each end. I probably could have devised a jig to guide this, but I did it by eye. Then it was time to glue the hooks into the base. I took a little off the 45 degree angle at the base with the file to allow more wood contact at the end of the hook with the bottom of the drill hole. I then drilled holes one half an inch from each end with my egg beater drill for the screws to mount this on the wall. I then countersunk the holes for the heads of the screws. Since it was still too cold outside to stain and varnish, I used three coats of a water-based varathane indoors to finish the project. I mounted it under a picture frame by the front door to give it a low profile rather than having it take up the whole wall. The mounting was done with a masonry drill bit and plastic anchors for the screws. Since I was not looking to hang anything too heavy, I used two size 6 screws. Here are a couple of other examples of hooks I made for the bedroom and for the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas on how to use up that leftover scrap wood while staying inside during COVID.